and welcome back to another edition of the End of Time Watchman. And the title of the program today is Watch For Me. If you ask someone for a rider to go somewhere and they say to you, okay, I'll be there very soon, but you must be ready to go when I get there because I'm in a hurry to get somewhere. If you are not ready, then I will not be able to wait. What would you do then? You would first make sure that you have everything ready and in order to pick up and go at a moment's notice. And secondly, and most importantly, you would be looking out for the vehicle, watching for it, so that you can leave the house and get to the car as it pulls up. In the same way, God is saying to us that he is coming very soon, so be ready and watching for him. Matthew chapter 24 verse 42 says, So you too must keep watch, for you don't know what day your Lord is coming. Now, we must also remember that as much as we want to be ready, Satan, our enemy, wants us to be unprepared and not ready. That is his ultimate goal, to cause us to miss God and go to eternal damnation with him. So he will bring on you temptations after temptations, to distract you and cause you to lose focus of God. He is very crafty in what he does and if we are not careful, we can easily get entangled in his traps. So how do we fight this? Matthew chapter 26 verse 41 tells us how. It says to keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to temptation. For the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. And the first Peter chapter four verse seven also says, the end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Constant communion with God is extremely vital in these last days. And one of the ways that we can maintain that communion is through prayer. So not only are we to be watching, but we are also to be constant in prayers. Watching for our soon coming Savior also involves praying, but not limited to. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6 also gives us a serious warning. It says, So be on your guard, not asleep like the others. Stay alert and be clear-headed. This is talking about spiritual sleeping. The days for spiritual slumber are long gone. Knowing what's at stake, no one that's already awake can afford to fall asleep spiritually at this time. Because of the urgency of the hour that we are in now, just one little nap can cost you everything. It can cause you to miss the soon coming rapture of the church and worse, to lose out on eternal life with God should the enemy get to take you out while in that nap. So God is sternly advising us today to stay awake, to stay alert and to keep watching and praying. And finally, be urgent about finishing the work that God has uh, given us to do. John chapter 9 verse 4 says, we must quickly carry out the task assigned us by the one who sent us. The night is coming and then no one can work. Jesus Christ himself is coming very soon. The rapture 
of the church is even sooner. So Luke chapter 12 and verse 35 tells us to be ready, be fully dressed and have your lights shining. Now before I go, I would like to again reach out to everyone that is watching or listening to let you know that God loves you and wants to save you from eternal damnation. Time is running out and we all need to get it right with God before it's too late by asking for and receiving the blood-bought salvation of Jesus Christ. If you would like to make that all-important decision for Christ right now, stay tuned for the next few minutes as I explain a bit more about receiving salvation in a pre-recorded clip. At the end of this clip, you will be given the opportunity to say a short prayer of repentance with me, one that will lead you to receiving your salvation through Jesus Christ. Stay tuned. Before I go, I would like to share with you the good news. The good news that you can be saved today from eternal destruction and given eternal life through Jesus Christ. He himself already paid the, the high and necessary price uh, for our salvation. So all we need to do is to ask him for it and accept it as a free gift. Why do I need salvation, you may ask? The simple answer is because we are all sinners. We were born and shaped in sin. Romans chapter 3 verses 10 it tells us, as the scriptures say, no one is righteous, not even one. And Romans chapter 3 verse 23 tells us why. It says, for everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. So left to us, we would all perish. But Romans chapter 5 verses 8 tells us, but God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. So because of Jesus and what he did, we have the hope of salvation packaged as a free gift for each and every one of us. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but... The free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. No, that's good news. So, next question, what can I do to be saved? Acts chapter 16 verse 31 says, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 10 says, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. Will it work for you? Will it work for anybody? Yes. That is why it says in Romans chapter 10 and verse 13, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone, no one is exempted. So if you would like to make that all important decision today for Jesus, I will help you with a short prayer of repentance. If you would like to say this prayer, just repeat it after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am sorry for all of my sins against you. Please have mercy on me. Save me and free me from my sins. 
come into my heart along with your Holy Spirit. Wash me and make me whole. Thank you for saving me. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have said that prayer, welcome into the family of God. Continue to seek after God with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your body and soul. And please feel free to, to share this video with your friends, uh, uh, with your family. Uh, share it as far and wide as you possibly can. There are no uh, restrictions, absolutely no restrictions on how uh, you can share any of our videos. All we ask is that you help us to reach the loss at all cost. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening. And I'll see you next time, if there is a next time. God wish you bless you and goodbye. Hey, hey, song is jumping now. Yeah, the father said, hey. Rapture is coming. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. Oh, the rapture is coming.